and maintain the constitution and the laws of Zambia, and that I will dedicate my abilities to the service and welfare of the people of Zambia. Exactly three years ago today, President Hahane Chima was sworn in as the seventh president of Zambia, carrying aspirations of millions of Zambians on his shoulder. President Hichilema faced a monumental task of stabilizing an economy which was riddled with rising debt, broken down rule of law in some public places such as markets and bus stations, among other vices. President Hichilema's stay in office so far is now largely marked with tangible achievements. Three years down the line, President Hichilema's administration has increased the Constituents Development Fund CDF from 1.6 million to 30.6 million quarter per constituency. Based on his campaign promises on several fora prior to 2021, this is aimed at decentralizing decision making to the grassroots. President Hichilema's administration also introduced free education. In 2022, a move that has triggered an additional enrollment of 1.6 million pupils. Additionally, his administration has to date recruited 34,500 teachers and 14,000 health workers. <laughs> Development expert Charlton Samba discussed the impact of such achievements. What you see is that on one hand, they've made efforts to increase the locations in terms of the budgetary allocations. In principle, this is a good step in the right direction. And what you see is that indeed there's been a lot of interest by the public and other development actors to ensure that these resources benefit local communities. Meanwhile, President Hichilema's administration has resuscitated the operations of Concola Copper Mine, KCM, by handing over the once liquidated mine to the Danta Resources Limited. Mopan Copper Mine also has a new equity partner, International Resources Holdings, that is pumping. 1.1 billion US dollars into the mine. Last year, President HMR's administration clinched the 6.3 billion dollars debt restructuring with foreign creditors and attracted 40 billion dollars pledge investment with over 8 billion United States dollars of investments actualized. Economist Emmanuel Kalwa now highlights the impact of the debt restructuring excess and opening of KCM. We did restructure 6.3 billion of the, you know, um, the date under the, the G20 common framework. And then we went further and uh, did the restructuring of the 3 billion euro bond. And um, I think uh, the positive that comes from that, of course, is the credit ratings that have improved. And uh, that also uh, is, is an attraction to investment. Meanwhile, on the legal front, the UPND administration has implemented a number of legal reforms, such as the abolition of death penalty, enactment of the Access to Information Act and repeal of the penal cause provision on the defamation of the president. Governance and human rights activist Wesley Mianda now analyzes the impact of such legal reforms. The New Dawn government actually has abolished the death penalty, which was actually um, an infringement on the human rights because every human being has the right to of life. So what we mean is uh, UPND has done this part and we really appreciate. Non-government organization coordinating council NGOCC executive director and Anamela also has her voice to the significance of the UPND's legal reforms. What is also important is not just the enactment of laws, it is even the implementation of those laws. For example, we have laws existing right now like the, the Gender Equity and Equality Act which as an act brings into effect the Gender Equity and Equality Commission. President HLMA was inaugurated on August 24, 2021, after scooping the 2021 general elections, polling 2,810,777 votes against his predecessor, Edgar Lungu, who polled 1,814,201 votes. Hanoka Kasama's NBC News in Lusaka.